Okay, now, let's say uh, the auxiliary equation of the given higher order homogeneous differential equation contains imaginary roots. So we have cases 3 and 4 for that. For case 3, uh, we say that the imaginary roots are non-repeating, just like uh, case 1, in which for case 1, we have real roots. And for case 4, we have uh, repeating imaginary roots for our auxiliary equation. Now, let's try to solve uh, y double prime plus 9y equals 0. So this differential equation using our operator notation is just equivalent to d squared y or the second derivative of y with respect to x plus 9y equals 0. Again, factoring all the y's, we have d squared plus 9 times y equals 0, giving us an auxiliary equation uh, m squared plus 9 equals 0. As you can see, the roots of this uh, auxiliary equation is m is equal to positive negative 3i. For this uh, differential equation, we say that the solution is given by y equals c sub 1 cosine 3x plus c sub 2 sine 3x. Take note that if a, differ a differential equation yields an imaginary number that has a real part, let's say uh, if m is equal to a plus minus b sub i, so this is our uh, generic form for an imaginary number, we say that a is the real part and B is the imaginary part. So for this uh, kind of uh, root, the, 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 the solution of the differential equation becomes Y equals C sub 1 E raised to AX cosine BX plus C sub 2 E raised to AX sine BX. In our example, you notice that the value of the real part of our imaginary number is zero. That's why you do not see uh, e raised to the real part times x, no? because e raised to zero is just one. So this part, no? this is the solution of our differential equation. Try to solve uh, 16y4 prime plus 24 y double prime plus 9y equals 0. Again, if we try to write this in our, or using our operator D, so we will have 16 fourth derivative of y with respect to x plus 24 second derivative of y with respect to x plus 9y equals 0. Again, factoring all the y's, we have 16d raised to 4 plus 24d squared plus 9 times y equals 0. With this, we have uh, for our auxiliary equation, 16 m raised to 4 plus 24 m squared plus 9 equals 0. Solving for the values of m, you will notice that the value of m is equal to positive negative square root of 3 all over 2i having a multiplicity of 2, meaning we have 4 uh, roots here. Positive uh, square root of 3 over 2i, negative square root of 3 over 2i, uh, having both multiplicity of 2.
So this is case 4 for our uh, higher order homogeneous differential equation. And the solution is given by y equals c sub 1 cosine square root of 3 over 2x plus c sub 2 sine square root of 3 over 2x plus c sub 3 x cosine square root of 3 over 2x plus c sub 4 x sine square root of 3 over 2x. As you notice, just like with case 2, we add the variable x for every root or for every root of the auxiliary equation that repeats in the solution so that we will have an equal number of uh, arbitrary constants or our arbitrary constants, the number of our arbitrary constants will be equal to the order of the original differential equation that is given to you. In this case, the order being 4 and the number of the arbitrary constants also being 4.